I am here with the Valley Vanguard at Saginaw Valley State University and this week the Vanguard decided to go to the Ryder Center and look at students working out and staying fit and why they wanted to stay fit. One of the programs Saginaw Valley State University has is a make your own workout program where students and faculty alike were able to attend a meeting where they were told how to work out. Setting a goal lets you know exactly where you are in fitness. You can't get anywhere if you don't know where you are currently. So you got to set a goal, you got to know where you are, and then you got to set a goal to tell you where you want to be. There's two different kinds of goals you can set. There's short-term goals and then there's long-term goals. A short-term goal would be an example of I want to lose two pounds this week. A long-term goal would be I want to lose 40 pounds during the weight loss exercise challenge. The importance of fitness is to establish a better quality of life as an individual. The more fit you are, the better you feel throughout the day. People are reported the same when they work out in the mornings, they just feel better throughout their entire day. So it's just a great way to feel better about yourself all around altogether. Fitness in general just, for me, is a way, a way to keep myself in shape, a way to feel good about myself, a way to take off, take, take stress off of my day. When I'm, in, when I'm in class, it's a long day. Nothing feels, feels better than getting here and working out. I think that it is important to work out. I, I guess I never really understood how important it was because I was into sports in high school. Then when I got to college and I gained the freshman 15, now that I, I, I know it's important to work out now and to be fit. Key elements of developing your own fitness challenge or program is to knowing the five health-related components of fitness, which are muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, body composition, and muscular flexibility. If you know how to improve upon those five areas of fitness, then you'll improve upon your fitness altogether, and you'll have a pretty good idea of what to do when you go to the gym. Well, I'm going to sign up for one of the fitness classes that he just told us about. I'm thinking about a personal trainer and I, since I was in sports in high school, I do know a lot of workouts, routine, workout routines to do already to help me. Uh, fitness is important to me because I used to be a fat individual and uh, I had a lot of health problems like high blood pressure and everything and uh, my family also had the same deal. So I first started coming out here a little bit at a time and finally got going to a regular basis and all those health problems kind of started going to a, by the wayside. Doesn't hurt with the ladies either. So how you maintain, you don't give up. Once you start an exercise program, once you join the weight loss challenge, I'm going to be sending out tips every Monday so you guys you know, can constantly be reminded that you're taking part in the weight loss challenge. I want you guys to do well. I want to work with everybody. And part of staying committed and doing everything is this little quote right here. It, the quote isn't right word for word, but it's what I remembered of it. So the difference between commitment and interest. The difference is when someone is interested in something, they will do only that thing when circumstances permit or when it's convenient for them to do that thing. When someone is committed to doing something, they'll work towards their goal regardless, and they won't let anything stand in their way. So you gotta ask yourself if you're taking part in the weight loss challenge or if you just wanna design your own fitness program and start working out how committed am I doing this? Is this something that I'm just interested in? Or is it something, do I really want to make a lifestyle change? It's just some different things you got to ask yourself. Tips for staying motivated, a lot of that has to do with setting goals. If you set a goal, then you have something to work towards. If you don't have a goal, then you have nothing to work towards and you can fall off track really easily and really quickly. And then you'll start forgetting to go to the gym and then sooner or later you'll just see no point going to the gym. Well, I feel like if you don't have a goal, you're never gonna know. You're never gonna know what you're actually trying to reach. It's, also, it's always really good to know. It's always good to know where you started and where you want to go. So otherwise, you're never gonna know if you're actually doing anything good for yourself. I mean, getting in here and working out by itself is never bad, but if you're actually trying to reach something, it keeps you pushing and keeps you striving to be better. We offer tons of different training programs here at Saginaw Valley. We have a ton of free uh, uh, rec events that we have during the first week of Cardinal Fitness. Then during Cardinal Fitness, we offer spin classes, we offer Zumba, we offer belly dancing, which is new this year. We offer guts and glutes and kettlebell workouts and boot camp workouts, tons of different things. And then we also have a full staff of personal trainers available to help anyone out on campus.
Well, if you want to get involved in a fitness program, you can either go online or talk to one of the personal trainers on staff in the rec office. Both are really good ways to get involved in campus and to improve your health. Seeing as how it is the beginning of 2012, we always make a New Year's resolution to stay in shape or get in better shape or just be healthier. And these programs here at Saginaw Valley State University are ways for you to keep those New Year's resolutions way past January. So I encourage you to come down to the rider, look at these programs, and get in shape.